So, the Blue Moon update has been released for quite a while now, and with it came a lot of changes, way more than anyone expected really. With those changes came a bunch of weapon balances, including one specifically that I absolutely love, and that's the Extinguisher. Oh my word, this change was absolutely beautiful, and I think this may be the most balanced version there has been so far. The TF team decided that the slow deploy time wasn't very good and was awkward to deal with, yeah I wonder why. So instead of that, they went for more of a finishing move weapon, which is certainly an interesting idea. Let's have a look at the stats shall we? The extinguisher deals mini crit damage on burning enemies and extinguishes them on hit, stopping the afterburn damage immediately, overall emphasising the finishing weapon concept they're going for. The extinguisher also adds bonus damage, which is based on how much time is left on their afterburn. So for example, 2 seconds of afterburn would make the damage bonus do less than what 7 seconds of afterburn would. And the final upside is Skechek's Bequest, which grants a small speed boost when you kill an enemy who is burning. Skechek, for those who don't know, was a pretty legendary Pyro main, who was able to pull off some of the most insane things I've ever seen for Pyro. I'd go as far as to say I wouldn't be a Pyro main myself if he didn't open my eyes on what the class was capable of pulling off. But back to the Extinguisher. The downsides of the weapon go like this. The Extinguisher does minus 33% damage than other melees, only making it do 44 damage. It also deals no random crits, which is to be expected from a weapon like this. And finally, the weapon holsters 35% slower, which again emphasises its finishing weapon concept, as you'll have to make sure you manage to maximise your damage, otherwise you'll have to wait longer than usual to try and kill someone with your primary or secondary. Now like I said, as someone who has used this in every iteration since it was released, I think this is possibly the best version of the extinguisher thus far in my opinion. For one, it isn't insanely overpowered by doing full crits like the first version without much consequences. It isn't confusing and somewhat broken as the second version which did many crits on the front and full crits on the back. And it isn't basically useless like the previous version. It's a great pick weapon for the lower health classes like Spy and Sniper and can even be useful for medic picks. Like the weapon states, the amount of damage it deals counts on the player and how long they were flaming the enemy. As I said, classes such as the Scout, Engineer, we're not using the Gunslinger, Sniper and Spy are easily the best to use this on. Demo Men, Medics and Gunslinger engines are good targets too but require you to flame them for a little longer. Soldiers and Heavies should not really be a priority to kill with the Extinguisher as your primary or secondary could finish them off much quicker than trying to suicide with the Extinguisher. And while not significant enough, the speed boost when killing a burning enemy can be helpful when against a larger group or for when you're trying to pick off a specific target as that small boost could be the difference between living or waiting to respawn for a good while. Now other than the smaller health classes like I said, the 5 other classes do require more time to be put into using the extinguisher most effectively, basically making it not worth whipping out against the majority of the classes. However, if you've read the title of this video, I'm sure you know what I'm about to talk about next. Panic Attack was another weapon that was slightly changed in the Blue Moon update. Its main changes were done back in Jungle Inferno, however it was slightly buffed in Blue Moon to spread less and do slightly more damage, making it a great shotgun alternative due it to it being able to do much more damage than it, but requiring players to be more up close to maximise it. Speaking of stats, the Panic Attack shoots 50% more bullets per shot, deploys 50% faster, making it one of the fastest weapons to switch to, and fires in a fixed shot pattern, making random spread irrelevant. But like I said, the downsides are that it does minus 20% damage, and shots become less accurate the more time it is shot in succession. Looking at these two weapons separately, they are really good additions to Pyro's arsenal and can be effective in a lot of situations, but what if they were combined? That's right, using them alongside your flamethrower of choice, mine being the degreaser, used correctly the panic attack and extinguisher could be an absolutely deadly combination. Going back to the extinguisher for a moment, you'd first fire a bunch of flames towards your enemy with the flamethrower. Next, you'll pull out the extinguisher and hit them for a good chunk of damage. But let's say you don't kill them, even the classes with small health pools, that's where the panic attack comes into use. You'd switch to it, negating the switch speed altogether from the extinguisher and finishing off your opponent. This works amazingly well against classes with a little more health like the previously mentioned medic, demo man and even soldier to a degree. Heavies however do still pose a threat, but if you use this as more of a sneaky loadout then heavy shouldn't be too much of a problem anymore. 
And hey, even if you're not sneaking around, these two together still make them a great team in most situations. My personal favourite primer to use this with is of course the Degreaser, because of the useful faster deploy and holster speeds. This makes switching to the panic attack stupidly fast and makes the switch from melee to primary 5% slower because of the switch speeds being faster. But you should really be switching to the panic attack from the initial extinguisher below in my opinion, so the latter really shouldn't be much of a problem. But what about the reserve shooter? That weapon has faster deployment just like the panic attack, so wouldn't that be better? Well I mean, it could work, but it only deploys 20% faster, meaning the slower holster of the extinguisher wouldn't be ignored like with the 50% faster switch speed of the panic attack. So yeah, the reserve shooter could work, but the panic attack does it better, so why even bother with that? So overall, I believe the extinguisher is the greatest it's ever been for a while, the panic attack is a deadly alternative to the stock shotgun and combined, can be a force to be reckoned with. This shows some resemblance to the old version of the Puff and Sting tactics, but with less flares and more shooty shooty. What do you all think? Try it for yourself and let me know down below your thoughts on this. Also side note, Valve, please don't change these for a while, I have an unusual panic attack and now I need it to be relevant, K okay, thanks. So anyway, this has been your Fempire Enthusiast Binocle and I will see you in the next one.